Okay, uh, my name is Jiang Zhao. I'm a faculty at the Boeing Institute of International Business of Jiang Cook School at St. Louis University in Missouri, United States. What really motivated my research uh, published in GBV is that uh, uh, in, in, in the past uh, number of years, there are many uh, studies about uh, the role played by political, political connections. So my paper uh, really want to build and extend this uh, stream of research to look into and what conditions these political connections uh, works and what conditions it does not work well, particularly in the context of emerging market. In my case, it is China. My co-author and I uh, undertook the research uh, for uh, like two, three years, and we uh, basically collected data from uh, uh, kind of archive data about Chinese private companies. We really look at the founder controlled uh, private companies in China to see if uh, the private companies when uh, the because because in China the problem there is that private enterprises are somewhat uh, discriminated in the sense that they do not have regular or normal access to resources such as uh, uh, financial capital, in our case the bank loans. Because in China, the state-owned enterprises tend to have the privileges to access financial capital rather than private firms. So we look at uh, whether those founders of the private firms who are politically connected uh, have the easy access to form uh, to to, uh, to financial capital, and we then look at uh, what are the other conditions, particularly across the region, across the different provinces, whether this relationship between political capital and the financial capital uh, acquisition still hold. Uh, so that's uh, the basic idea of our research. We really look into uh, several uh, contingency factors, proliferate of uh, intermediate institutions would uh, ne negate the effect of a political capital in terms of accessing financial capital. Uh, we also look at if a private company that have adopted uh, some of uh, corporate governance practices that also can have some negative impact on the political capital's role in, access, uh, in accessing financial capital. So our paper primarily look for the conditional effects of a political capital on financial uh, resources, on acquisition of financial resources. Uh, I think this, uh, the, 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 I think it's a transparency problem you are raising here, is that I, I, uh, I know there is transparency issue uh, in China as well as in many other emerging economies. Uh, I, however, in our data, uh, limiting to our data, I would think transparency may not be a major issue because this is a nationwide survey by three major uh, authoritative organizations in China. Uh, they basically ask very simple questions, which the respondent cannot really evade those questions. Uh, or they are very clear, straightforward questions. Uh, they basically ask them, you know, the, the amount of uh, bank loans they get from state-owned banks, uh, the amount. Uh, and that's in a very straight uh, indicator or question that will capture that particular uh, resource, uh, which we call the bank loan. The, the implication here really uh, is that actually what we found out here is that uh, uh, as we hypothesized in the paper that uh, when a, a region, in our case region is defined by provinces, when a region is uh, institutionally more developed in the in terms of uh, you know more immediate intermediate institutions less government intervention and the less the role played by political connections of the founders of private firms so our data uh, and our findings really are consistent with our hypothesis in this case 
Uh, yes, I think the at least one of the major, I, I would think, key uh, obvious uh, implication for managers in the emerging market is that when we look at the emerging market, we do we should not look at the emerging market as one set, a uh, you know very homogeneous set of a hot market. Actually, within each of the emerging market, like India, China, uh, to many degrees even in Thailand or those in Brazil. In those emerging markets, uh, uh, there are substantial variations in terms of institutions, the institutional development. Uh, that matters a lot. That institutional development, a level of institutional development, uh, also have a major role to play when we look at you know where to find the you know financial resources needed by companies.